Hey there, uh, just wanted to share real quick with you a tip on how to use the text block within the page editor to create an effect similar to what Russell and the team used on the perfect webinar funnel. Funnel. The quest, somebody had uh, made a question in the Facebook group about how to achieve that effect. And um, with a headline text element, which is what most people use to throw text onto a page, uh, you, you only have a few limited options. So if I go in and click this, um, I've got just a, the blank uh, sales page template here and you'll notice this element is actually a headline element if we uh, hover over it we can see it says headline and this in the upper left right here says headline um, so when we go to edit this we only have a few options here uh, of the formatting and if we go in you know we can change fonts and things like that but we can't really change a whole lot about that text other than the color the size and what actual font is being used. Uh, we can change line height and a few other things, but not a whole lot. Um, and so what we can do though is use the text block element. So if I'm going to go in and add a text block to this page, now I can go in and I can actually click the open text editor button. And I want to go in, I'm going to take this text all out and I'm going to put in there perfect webinar funnel. And I want to make this, uh, I'm going to set this as a headline. So I'm going to set it as header one. And I'm actually going to put an extra space before. And I'm going to put an extra space after the R. And then I'm going to grab this text. I'm going to highlight it with the spaces. Uh, this is going to give us a little bit of extra highlight and border. I'm going to change this text color to white. I'm going to change this with the background color that, that has the A uh, inset with the blue and the white background. That allows us to set a background behind that text. I'm going to set that to blue and I'm going to grab this text, the funnel part, uh, and I'm actually going to set that to be the matching blue. Give us a little color there and I'm going to click update. And then I can go in and I can uh, edit this and I want to align it. Let's say I like the railway font. Use it on pretty much everything, and I think that is uh, what uh, Russell and the team may be using on, on this one as well. And I thought there was a center here, but maybe not. Let's go with the open text editor. Oh, here we go. This is what I want. And so we want to uh, align this center. There we go. And now I can just drop this one out of here, click OK, save, let's do a preview. And there is our perfect webinar funnel effect. So hopefully that's been helpful uh, and I hope to share more of these tips with you here soon. Uh, I try and add as much value as I can in the community. If you need anything, uh, certainly hit me up by private, me private message. I'll do everything that I can to help. Have an awesome day.